So as Naomi Klein said, it's important to know that there are alternatives and people's platforms are worth taking a look at. So I'm going to give you a glimpse of the Labour Party manifesto, the one that Jeremy Corbyn and his party ran on in the last election in the UK. It's not perfect, but it gives you a glimpse of an approach that is very different from what we have in the United States. This is the part about sustainable energy. Take a listen. One in 10 households, the Labour Party writes, are in fuel poverty, which is to say they don't have enough. Although customers are overcharged, they found an enormous two billion pounds every year. Labour, they write, understands that many people don't have time to shop around. They just want reliable and affordable energy. So the next Labour government they pledged will, one, introduce an immediate emergency price cap, can't go higher than that, to ensure that the average fuel bill remains below a certain amount, a thousand pounds a year. They'll transition to a fairer bill paying system for bill payers, and they'll take energy back into public ownership. So as they say, to deliver renewable energy, affordability, and democratic control. When was the last time you heard those three sentences in an energy plan from any government? They'll do that by, one, regaining control of energy supply networks through the alteration of the national and regional network operator license conditions. What's that mean? They'll renegotiate the contracts with the energy companies. And they'll support the creation of publicly owned, locally accountable energy companies and cooperatives to rival existing private energy suppliers with at least one in every region. They go on further to say that they will legislate to permit publicly owned local companies to purchase the regional grid infrastructure and to ensure that national and regional grid infrastructure is brought into public ownership over time. This is about a massive remunicipalization of things that had been privatized in the past. And it's exactly what cities in this country are just beginning to think about. In Boulder, Colorado, the people a few years back put on the ballot an initiative to take their local energy company, the Excel Energy Corporation, back into private ownership because they weren't moving fast enough to transition to renewables. That kind of conversation about taking back into public hands things that had been privatized is the kind of conversation we hadn't even started a decade back. So let's hear it for the Labour Party and let's hear it for alternatives. You can find out more and read the entire Labour Manifesto at our website and we'll put a link there too to the LEAP Manifesto that Naomi Klein talked about. Tell us what you think. You can write to me and send me your favorite people's platform. That's Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at lauraflanders.com. And thanks.